And then what you find is along those lines you talk about the difference in the percentages. It depends on the system. If they pay supplements, some systems have to pay tremendous local supplements to get teachers to come. And I've known that they look around and they see a Lee County and they go to work here, or they go to work in a municipal at a seminar or play, rent on play or somewhere like that. And to get somebody to go there, the local governments are having to pay out a big supplement to get them. The point I was trying to make is that the local community in the last couple of years have had to pay a higher portion. And you know, I'm not here to debate this with Ed Reiners or anybody. His wife's one of our teachers now. But, uh, the, the point is, because of the, if we're going to maintain this quality school system and state money it becomes less, then we're going to balance that and that increase the local share. Um, speaking of hiring teachers, we have a very stable, Workforce, frankly, folks, if we had an opening in grades kindergarten through five, principals can interview 30 or 40 people for the, for the position. I mean, we get the truly pick from the very best. We really do. That's absolutely right. It's true, we do. I mean, we're proud of that. We have, we have wonderful, wonderful teachers. Um, here's something that's interesting. In the state of Georgia, the per pupil expenditure, the per pupil, that's how you, you determine if the school system, uh, what, they're, uh, what they're putting into the education process. But the per pupil extended, uh, expenditure in Georgia is $8,900 per child. Okay? That's a state average. In Lee County, it's $7,200. 7200 Now, some people would say, right on. Right on, that's the way we like it, you know. Little going in, a lot coming out. That's a good return. Some people would say, just think, if Lee County would put in just, just the state average, not even to exceed the state, just the state average, what the output could be. Okay? And I know you all don't make those decisions, but you, you need to be aware of that. I mean, we, we do not pay. Uh, our, our per pupil expenditure is roughly $1,700 less than the state average. Okay? Yet we still have a great output. It's also good. Dr. Walter, in fact, you're bragging with your staff and the faculty. What percent of your faculty um, have a master's or higher? So, about 70% graduate degrees or higher. I have that in there. Um, Seventy percent certified personnel personnel have advanced degrees. Some have gone through. At least is that higher than the state average? Probably so. Mm -hmm. Probably. Um, well, a lot of times people still I'll get calls. I don't have any children in school. Why am I going to go back? You're always going to have to do that. Well, well, you know what I would say. The, the thing that determines the quality of life, and if I could add my two cents, and you could just tune it out. But when I looked at your vision statement up there a while ago, I didn't see anything about quality of life. I didn't read that about quality of life. I read about governance and businesses. Lee County is a great place to live and work and raise a family. We can put that in there. We can do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see that. <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> that. Yeah. Yeah. Most people move to Lee County, somebody said, because of the schools, which is quality of life. But in your vision, you didn't have anything about quality of life. And then you're going to break the That's a pretty good idea. Let me tell you something that we have, and I'd say this whether it's our students, we really try to recognize them and give them a pat on the back when they do well. The, the ledger is, is a, almost something like a student student yeah. thing. They're promoting the, 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 the students and, and the teachers and, and again, quality of life. These people that say, I don't want to pay, my children are grown. Let me tell you something, the quality of life in Lake County is determined by success of the school system. 
So their, their life and their property values are held up. If we let our school system tank, we see what their property values are. Exactly right. Exactly right. What about organizations and, um, and all that in school system? I mean, obviously, in high schools, you know, we were allowed to have any kind of three or four organizations. No, we have schools. I mean, I don't know what kind of organizations I'll have there now. Um, I, mean, I couldn't tell you. Yeah. Well, there's, yeah. there's, yeah. there's some yeah. clubs and clubs. And Is there any participation? <laughs>